This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, I think. 22nd, 23rd. Um, my wife just showed me a video that was on the news. I don't know how long it's going to stay up. I downloaded it. I want to share it with you. I don't know how much of a big deal this is, but thousands, possibly thousands of ventilators, brand new ventilators in, I think, Dade County, Florida, have just been taken to a dump and they're covering them up. Uh, they come from a company in China and during this whole, when this whole COVID thing started, we were running out of ventilators. And when the auto manufacturers were shutting down, I think Trump was trying to get GM and Ford and a couple of these other companies to start, I don't know how Ford and Chevy and all this stuff are gonna make ventilators but Trump wanted them to make ventilators. The government gave an emergency okay to buy certain like 86 different brands of ventilators from China and overseas or whatever. This one supposedly didn't make the list. It's not on there for some reason. So here is a, a news clip of all these ventilators in a dump in Florida, brand new in boxes. There's supposedly thousands of them. And now to a story you'll only see on Local 10, boxes of brand new ventilators dumped at a local landfill. And so what was this medical treasure doing in the trash? Let's go to Local 10's Glenna Milberg live now with our exclusive tonight. Glenna. So many questions. Calvin Cruzy, we're going to take you up to the top of the trash heap. In just a minute, we're talking about millions in these ventilators. Remember, those were the most necessary medical equipment for the worst of the COVID patients. So they're trashed, they're gone, they're destroyed, and they're on video. That's making a lot of people really angry. A constant stream of waste, mattresses, tires, and at the top of Trash Mountain, this is what's up. All these ventilators. A resident taking garbage to the South Dade landfill last week, stunned to see hundreds of brand new All wrapped medical ventilators. ventilators dumped as bulky trash. This is what is going on. Brand new. Brand new. They tell us here that what's dumped is usually plowed under within a day, so those ventilators are probably gone. I just thought it was just a, re a lot of waste thousands and thousands of medical units that are being just tossed out. But why? The crates show the Chinese manufacturer, a 35-year-old company in Beijing, Aerospace Changfeng Limited. This is the model number. We find it listed at $26,000 last spring when ventilators were in short supply for an exploding number of COVID patients. With this letter, the FDA had given emergency use authorization for a list of 86 ventilators for COVID use. The ACM 812A is not listed there. Hello, Hello how, how are, are you? you? I'm Glenna Milberg from Channel 10. This is the Doral-based customs broker that brought the pallets of brand new ventilators to the dump last week and where the information trail ends. We can't give that information without first getting authorization from the importer. So without knowing who the importer is, we take it to the FDA. We learn that any medical device, any equipment like that, without approval, emergency or otherwise, may not be legally used. And so the options are either take it out of the country or take it to be destroyed. And this is the far less costly option of those two things. Well, are they no good? Can't they be used for something else other than COVID? What are ventilators used for? So, they're $26,000 a piece that I'm guessing our tax money went to. They're being trashed in a dump and they got caught doing it. That's millions and millions and millions of dollars. What's that? If there was just, say, a thousand, at $26,000 a piece, that's $26 million. And they're saying there was thousands, thousands. So this is Pony Prepper Bill.